Welcome back. I'm here with Dr. Alicia Kundal and our guest all the way from Tanzania, Dr. Francis Sakita. Dr. Francis, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. So you are chief of uh, ER at the Kilimanjaro Christian Medical Hospital. You're also, right. I believe, on a board for the um, ER or emergency medicine for Tanzania as well, correct? Correct. That's a busy guy. So what's it like in terms of, because I've, I've actually seen you publish some work with Duke University. So connect some dots between uh, yourself and Duke University, please. Thank you very much. And uh, once again, thank you for having me. Um, so I came back from school where I did my specialty training and I started working at the emergency department of Kilimanjaro Christian Medical Center, which is at the slopes of uh, Mount Kilimanjaro. So being the head of the department of a new department in the hospital kind of gave me an opportunity to kind of explore different areas. And among those areas was just uh, research. So many research have been done because before then, there was no a proper emergency department in our hospital. So having a, um, a, a proper emergency department gave us a chance to meet with different people and uh, that included uh, Duke people where we were able to conduct different researches. Yeah, yeah that's a very interesting. You also connected with uh, Dr. Barbara and Dr. Alicia. So how did you actually connect with EM Global? Wow, that is an exciting and uh, a wonderful journey. So um, actually, the doctor who is in Moimbili is the one who met them first, or who met Alicia first. So I came back from school and I was able to connect with Dr. Alicia. And uh, it's unfortunate that uh, during uh, the process while they were planning to come here, Dr. Barbara, the late Dr. Barbara, may God rest uh, her soul in uh, peace. So uh, he, he, she passed away. Uh, but despite the fact, no, she did not pass away, sorry. Um, she got sick. Uh, she got sick and she could not make it to come to, uh, for training, which was, uh, we planned. Um, however, that did not uh, prevent uh, the team from Canada to come all the way here. So they decided to come and we managed to offer trainings here at my hospital in the emergency department. And uh, we also uh, managed to offer another training, ultrasound training in, uh, um, a hospital which is like 20, 30 kilometers from our hospital. So um, it's through, you know, emails, uh, contacts, and then eventually they were here. Eh? They were here in my hospital. So it was very exciting. And uh, it has opened so many doors um, in the sense of um, they managed to come and then train people. People were inspired. They knew what emergency medicine is. They knew what can be done in emergency medicine. And most of all, uh, we managed to get a sponsorship uh, to uh, Dr. Emmanuel, who is currently in Muindili, uh, doing almost finishing uh, uh, his studies. Yeah. Right. That was a sponsorship for residency, correct? Correct. Wonderful. So, um, Dr. Alicia, the first time that you went and met with Dr. Francis, just tell us a bit about that connection, please. Well, Dr. Sakita um, really inspires all the members of our team. Uh, as Eli mentioned, he's a big reason why we just keep coming back. Because, um, you know, in a country of 59 million people, to have 50, 60 trained ER doctors, each of those doctors have to be amazing, and, and they are. Like, what Dr. Sakita can do with an ultrasound probe is greater than what I can do. And uh, he leads an entire department, is on, is on 24 hours for his department, and, and cares a great deal about the development of emergency medicine in Tanzania. So it's really a partnership. He's someone I've learned a lot from. And all of us together feel very inspired by Barbara's example and her ongoing inspiration in our lives. Dr. Francis, thank you so much for joining us from Tanzania. We really appreciate the time you've taken out of your busy schedule. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.